And then after the students, if you guys want to get ready, we have Judge Richard Bonner and Jeff, I hope I pronounced your name right, Pino. All right, Ali. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is my friend Ali Abu, Abu Hazan, and I am Gavin Beck. We are third graders from Park Road, Montessori. Thank you for allowing us to speak to you tonight. In September, we were eating lunch on the picnic benches outside our classroom. Gavin was at bar, and he was eating lunch from a styrofoam tray. This began an important conversation about how many trays were being thrown away at our school each day. We decided to put a change we decided to put a stop to this and try to make a change in our school. We began researching plastic and styrofoam and while it was being thrown away so much, what could we do to change this problem? After we finished our research, we developed a presentation. We presented it to many classrooms and encouraged them to sign our petition. Over 315 staff and students signed our petition asking the cafeteria to reduce or, or to eliminate using styrofoam or plastic when serving lunches. After we presented it to our cafeteria manager, she, she encouraged us to go further with our petition. This is what has led us here tonight. This is what we shared at our school. About one million animals that live in the ocean die each year. Uh, year. 100,000 marine animals die each day by plastic. Almost one trillion plastic bags are used each year, year around the world. That's almost two million every minute. About one billion plastic straws are used every day. 300 tons of plastic is produced each year. Most of the plastic thrown out in 2015 was packaging. Plastic was invented by Leo Hendrik Bakelin in 1907. It was invented to replace scarce materials such as ivory and tortoise shells. Plastic contains chemicals that can cause cancer. The chemicals that cause cancer is called styrene. Countries and cities around the world are banning plastic. Stores like IKEA are planning plastic bans that will go into effect in 2023. We suggest using reusable trays or biodegradable trays in the lunchroom. An alternative is we could use recyclable trays like Wake County Schools. Again, thank you for letting us speak with you this evening. We hope that this has encouraged our distinguished board to help us reduce or stop using styrofoam and plastic at our school during lunch. Thank you and have a, have a wonderful evening. Good job, guys.